Hey everyone, I'm here with the Amazon Echo and today I'm going to talk about the music identifying capability of Amazon Echo. So I was playing around with it and I figured out a couple things, a couple of um, limitations that it has, but some cool stuff. So one thing that it can do is it can play music from any Bluetooth capable um, device. So I can play my iTunes library through it just by, you know, tapping on my phone and um, connecting it through the Bluetooth, so you have to have a Bluetooth enabled device. So I'm going to start playing this Adele Rumor Has It. And one thing that the Echo can do is identify songs. However, this is one of its limitations, so I'll show you what happens. So it's playing right now. Normally, when it's playing through the Echo, you should be able to ask what song it is. So. Alexa, what song is this? I can't tell what's playing over Bluetooth. So, that's the limitation. It will not be able to identify something playing over Bluetooth. However, let me head over to my iHeartRadio account under the Echo app and try playing something here. So we'll do some live radio. And we'll do 80s and 90s hits here. So we'll do my 80s. So if you didn't have your phone on you and you like the song that's playing, I'll turn it down just a tad so you can hear me better. I can ask, Alexa, what song is this? This is Phil Collins, Take Me Home on My 80s for my heart radio. So it's got the song, Alexa. Buy this song. Take me home by Phil Collins is one dollar and twenty nine cents. To buy it, tell me your confirmation code. So you'll see that Alexa is asking for a confirmation code. I set this up in my settings, so it gives you the price. So it went over to Amazon and it said, "Here's the song and here's how much it costs." And if I didn't have the confirmation code set up, it would purchase it automatically. I don't want that to happen because I have small children and they will be buying lots of stuff without me. So I set up a confirmation code which is available in your settings menu on your app. What it is is a four digit number. You just punch it in and then if I wanted to actually buy this song, I would say those four numbers to the Echo and it would purchase the song for me and add it to my Amazon library. Be careful, one thing to know is that there's a history tab in your app. So if you go to the settings menu and you head over to history, everything you've ever asked Alexa is going to show up here. One thing that it's helpful for is finding something that you needed to remember from before. I said Alexa, she turned on. Um, Alexa, stop. She's back off. Um, it also is helpful if you ask something and she gives you a link. So a lot of stuff she'll say to you, but some stuff she needs to give you a link for you to see the information. So that's going to show up in your history tab. Another thing in your history tab is whatever you say, if it hears you correctly, you can put a little tick saying she heard me correctly and it sends the info to Amazon so it helps build the library builds the voice recognition, or you can say, no, she didn't hear me right, and, and move on. And But one thing that happens is because it records everything here, once you say her wake word, it's not recording everything right now, it has to, it only records when you say the wake word, which is her name. You can change that also to Amazon if you want that as the wake word. Those are the only two options, Amazon or Alexa. She heard me. Alexa, stop. Turn her back off. So the four digit confirmation code will show up in your history so don't use a bank code don't use anything that you use for anything else you can set it for just a simple number that you don't tell your children or anybody else so that you can remember it easily mine is just the same number four times so that way you know i can change it quickly if i need to if the kids hear but that's the feature of listening to like the iheart radio and you hear a song you like you can ask them and it will take you right to Amazon to purchase it. So that is kind of a cool thing. I wish 
it could pair up with the Bluetooth songs, but I guess you already own it so it doesn't really matter, right? But it kind of helps if you need to know what song it is you're listening to. Maybe in future updates, you never know. But I like that functionality of any radio station I'm listening to. I can purchase a song immediately without having to know the name or the person that's singing it. So that is the Echo music buying capabilities and thank you for watching.